ash just started dropping on us and the sky got very black. Uh, when the original fire went through, the home was still up. And then shortly afterwards, it just burst into flames. Yeah, you're stunned, absolutely stunned. Things like this happen in Colorado and California. They don't happen in Wisconsin. Your home, your yard, the trees around you and beyond. You might think that your home and family are safe, but you may not be. Embers may look harmless, but more often than not, it's embers that cause homes to ignite during a wildfire. In this short video, you'll learn how embers can threaten your home, and you'll find out why it's important to be ember aware. If you live in an area at risk to wildfire, being ember aware means two things. Number one, knowing the importance of completely extinguishing your fire to prevent a wildfire from starting in the first place. Whether it's a campfire, burning debris, or improper ash disposal. And number two, knowing how to protect your home from embers when wildfires occur. You'll learn how to protect your home even when you're not there. During a wildfire, tiny embers are carried by the wind and they rain down on your home like an ember blizzard. Some fires burn so intensely they can cause new fires over a mile away. What people don't realize is that it's not the, the main fire that's coming past that tends to burn many of the homes down, even most of them. It's the embers that those fires will throw uh, either in advance or that will linger after the main fire is passed. The first thing you need to understand is that your house is fuel. In fact, to a wildfire, it's nothing but a big chunk of firewood. And all it takes is an ember landing in the wrong place to get it going. Fuels in the wildland setting are uh, anything that burns. The grasses, the leaves, the twigs, uh, the stumps, um, the tops of the trees will even burn. And that's all fuel in a wildland sense. It's anything that can burn. And that includes people's houses, people's cars, people's boats. Those are all fuel for wildland fires. It's something that can combust and burn. Accumulated dry leaves, pine needles, trash, and other debris can easily ignite a home in minutes. This was our new home, and we weren't finished moving in yet and never got a chance to take the appropriate actions to make it fire-wise. Protect your home by removing all flammable objects off your roof, gutters, and eaves, and away from the sides of your house. In fact, anywhere an ember could land and start a fire could be a problem. It's the little things that can pose the greatest risk. Things like dried leaves and pine needles in a corner of your deck. Make sure your roof is free of debris. And rake debris from under your deck and around wood fences. Clear a five-foot area around the perimeter of your home and outbuildings by removing dead plants and any flammable mulch. And move any stacked wood at least 30 feet away. This will take away the fuel that embers need to become flames. Taking a few simple steps to reduce the risk from embers can make all the difference during a wildfire. Do your part to protect your home, your property, and your family. Be ember aware. For more information, go to the DNR website at dnr.wy.gov and search the keyword FireWise.